All right, everyone. It is me, Jensen Chan. I literally just loaded up this place, or the browser. Let's see, what is this? Oh, Twitter. So it's going to have to... See, what's stupid about Firefox is it won't let you reload while it's reloading the stupid cache. <laughs> It's like such a terrible browser. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I had a pretty good night's sleep last night. I actually played a lot less. Actually, I didn't really play much Tarkov at all. And I wanted to, and I want to watch Moon Moon play his Final Fantasy VII remake. They actually changed a couple of things, which I kind of like. So it really is like a remake. But so far, most of the core elements of the game, at least the core story elements, are actually pretty much the same. So I'm kind of curious. Are they still uh, are they still gonna kill uh, Aerith in that one? Because um, I can't remember. I, I don't remember any of the original Avalanche crew dying. Anyone? Because I played it before, but it's been so long, so I forgot. But in the remake, Wedge actually survives. So that's kind of like surprising. So because uh, you know what'd be a really insane twist is what if someone else you cared about dies, not Aerith, but say Tifa or something. So, uh, that would be an incredibly interesting, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, twist, right? So, um, I don't know, like, that would actually be kind of interesting if they did that. Um, but, um, I don't know, I'm, we're just gonna have to find out, you know? Obviously, I don't want to have any spoilers, so, uh... Anyway, and yes, I'm totally going to play uh, play it on the computer, I think, when it comes out for PC. Some, they said that, um, uh, I forgot the site, but Google search said it was around March 2021. It's going to do the PC and other platform releases. So, yeah. So, yeah, the PlayStation 4 gets, uh, you know, there's a reason why they put really good games on, like, console exclusives. So that you'll buy the console. So, uh, it's, a, it's an interesting tactic. In my case, I don't give a shit, you know, I just put it everywhere, right? Because, you know, I'm trying to get exposure. So, uh, anyway, uh, Bitcoin searches for this week have finally been released. It's down to 12, so it's not too bad. And uh, I didn't really do too much coding yesterday, even though I watched the uh, tutorial. Because the problem is I'm doing something different from what Brackies is teaching. So now I'm trying to decide. I think I've made up my mind. I'm just going to do something else. However... He did at least provide the code for calling the character stats, like the way he does it, and the syntax. So I'll definitely be using that, so um, so that when the uh, bullet objects hit each other, the enemies and the player, then it'll actually call the function to you know take damage or whatever. So I have to like think about how to do that. Um, yeah, so. Uh, let's see, Bitcoin dominance is at 64%, uh, 24 hour value is 116.6 billion, so it's actually very low. Uh, crypto continues to go down a little bit, I think the market today are down as well. Uh, grim economic earnings data, yeah. I mean, maybe it was going to go up, but like I said in yesterday's video, I even put in the description. The markets do not deserve to go back up, even, even though that's what we want, or that's what I want. Because fundamentally, there's no reason for it to go up. Right, we're still close. Uh, even Mario Cuomo, I keep calling him Mario Cuomo, it's actually Andrew Cuomo, but whatever. Governor of New York, right? They all actually are now starting to say, hey, we need to reopen the economy, right? Because because uh, now they have figured out, well, yeah, we'll hurt Trump, but they will also hurt ourselves, right? There's actually, I mean, there's literally not much the globalists and the establishment can really do about this, right? They just have to let Trump win. All right. And on top of that, a lot more people are still starting to get more angry uh, towards China, right? I'm sure the globals have figured out by now that once people get over, you know, punishing China for coronavirus when all the, when all this shit's finally over, people those same people, the anger just doesn't disappear. They're going to start going like, "Hey, it's not just China fucking us in the ass without our consent. Who else is fucking us in the ass without our consent?" And then you know. That people start asking the real questions that uh, require real answers, and then, such as you know why does certain countries in the Middle East that cannot be named and cannot be criticized, how come they get that special privilege, right? They do the same shit to us that China's been doing. What what's going on? And then at that point the jig is up. 
In fact, you're already seeing signs of people becoming hardcore right-wing people just by their behavior, right? There was a, uh, I didn't retweet this, but I saw a video of like this fat white woman in Australia, I think, or Great Britain, yelling at uh, brown people because uh, they weren't respecting social distancing rules. I think that's actually in Great Britain. And, um, you know, normally that doesn't happen because of like, oh, well, you can't be racist, blah, blah, blah. And then right off the bat, people are <laughs> just completely ignoring that. So, you know, uh, multiply that by like literally the world's population. So, uh, you know, I mentioned this before, but I'll say it again. What's nice about, uh, well, there's nothing nice, but the silver lining about coronavirus, and there's a lot of silver linings, is everyone's going to naturally become more right wing. And that's not a good thing. You know, I just have to worry that, like, people don't go too crazy with the anti-China stuff because then people will just start blaming all Chinese people. And that puts my life in danger, along with all my family members. So that's the only thing I'm worried about. So far, it hasn't been too bad. And once we reopen America, I think we'll be, you know, Tamaguchi here. But, uh, yeah. But I find it funny that the people who defend the fucking asshole, mostly the fake right, of course, uh, who defend protecting the unnamed country in the Middle East that cannot be named or criticized, but these same assholes have no problem just bashing China with, like, literally everything that, all the firepower they have on social media. And I find it both, you know, insulting and also, like, well, you know, it's going to blow back up in their face, right? Because remember, that's how karma works. Funny enough, Final Fantasy VII Remake also has uh, karma themes, too. I mean, of course, it's made by Japanese people. So, you know, it was a nice touch. I don't want to spoil the story too much uh, in case you haven't seen it, but it was like, it was really, it was actually really nice and touching, you know? I was like, wow. <laughs> so, uh, remember, what did Jesse Lee Peterson uh, say that I happen to really like? We all get what we deserve in the end, both the good and the bad. And right now, there are a lot of people doing bad stuff. All right, well, maybe they're going to get what they deserve. My job is to make sure that we get rich in the meantime. Well, keeping our heads down, because right now a lot of heads are going to start rolling. So, yeah. So that's basically where we're at. Uh, also, if it does look like we're actually going to start shifting manufacturing away from China, that's actually a pretty strong fundamental. I actually have no idea what impact that's going to have on the, our, on the world's economy. So I'm actually curious to see what's going to, like, what's, like the first time in my life, I want to see what this has, um, what this looks like. Because I think by the time I was like eight or nine or whatever, right, NAFTA was basically passed like by Bill Clinton. He was just, I don't even know. When was that passed? Like 92? I don't even remember. Basically, I was, in, I was still in like some kind of like junior high school or high school or something. I don't even remember. Basically, I was just too young of a kid. I didn't understand what was going on. So basically, my whole life has just grown up, no, uh, living in a NAFTA post NAFTA type world. So imagine all that going away. Hmm. I also happened to be coming down with another cold because yesterday I was trying to tape up the uh, my door so it blocks out all the air. I really should have worn my mask, especially since I've got like extra ones. That way, I don't breathe in the large, dirty particles. That's probably what happened. So, uh, yeah. It's coming down a little bit of something. But it also just goes to show that I really need to drop my weight. You know, my immune system is constantly so overworked that I can't even fight off a very simple, basic cold infection. And it's very annoying. So, uh, yeah. But, I mean, once it gets warmer, it should be a lot easier because then the cold's not going to trigger my hunger responses as much. Because when you're cold, your, your body just naturally does burn more energy. But it like, but then <clears throat> it triggers like, hey, we're freezing and we're burning energy. We really need to eat. And it's like so fucking annoying. It's like I can never lose weight, you know. So, yeah. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. But anyway, Bitcoin's at $67.44. Uh, Litecoin is $40.49. Uh... $40 Doggy coin, uh, 238 million market cap. So not too much changes from yesterday. It's just slightly down today. I guess it's a kind of a bit like, you know, today's markets as well. Steam is at 14.92 cents. Uh, I'm not going to bother checking uh, Hive. But the but the dlease.io interest rates are actually pretty high now. It's like 14 to 15% each. 
Um, yeah, so my stock picks are going down with, along with the rest of the market. Revel's still doing okay at 253 a share, so that's fine. Uh, stocks fall after grim economic data, retail sales, and manufacturing factory each declined massive margins in March because of Corona. Big banks, including Goldman Sachs Bank of America, reported steep year-on-year -year declines. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this would explain why they're starting to like, hey, you know, maybe we should close the, uh, uh, we should reopen um, the markets because uh, even Chris Cuomo, right, the guy with coronavirus at CNN, uh, he even says not even if or when, but we, we need to reopen. How are we going to do that? So, yeah, they realized, yeah, we're going to fuck Trump, but we're going to fuck ourselves even harder. So that's actually a good thing because that basically means we're all going to reopen America. Um <clears throat> You know, and on top of that, the left also realizes, hey, we can't control any of these idiots. You know, <laughs> I mean, they already tried forcing Joe Biden on everyone. And a lot of liberals, I mean, a lot will still go along with it. Right? Based on the Twitter trends, it's about two, uh, 66 percent. Well, you still have 33 percent of liberals still saying, go fuck yourself. Right. Including Jimmy Dore, who's like the more he's actually the more honest liberal guy. You know, like uh, he doesn't like conservatives, but he actually seems to respect us. Right. So, and he actually understands why we voted for Trump. So he actually seems pretty cool about it. That's why he goes on Tucker Carlson. They actually agree on a lot of things, despite being politically uh, very uh, op uh, polar opposites, essentially. I mean, they're probably not even really polar opposites if you really sit down and think about it. Uh, let's see, what does this fake news terrorist article say? Amazon, oh, that's over the stoop, ten, it says $10 billion Jedi conjure, what the hell, it's okay, it's just, it's just nonsensical. Yeah, I still haven't gotten my fucking stimulus check, where are my fucking Trump bucks? Nick Fuentes also said he didn't get his Trump bucks yet either, as of last night, so, you know, but the IRS website is up and running, uh, but it's jammed right now, because everyone's using it, so I'm just gonna wait till, like, just later, because... They said I'll eventually get the fucking check, so I better get my effing check. Yeah, just on print again on principle alone. But I think what they're doing is they're checking to see uh, how much money you have your bank account, and the people who get their checks first are the ones who have very little money. So I think that's which would be the fair way to do it, right? Because if you can only like send, I don't know, let's say you can only send five hundred thousand checks per day, right? You're the U.S. government. Who are you going to prioritize the checks to by alphabetical order? by last name, or people who actually have no money. Yeah, you'll probably you, it's probably better to give it to the people who have no money, right? And people who have, like, savings, like me, or probably Nick Fuentes. Yeah, we can we can obviously afford to wait, you know? Of course, I'm still going to complain about it, but I, I totally understand why, you know, I might have to actually sit on my ass and wait longer. Uh, so, see, that's why it's important to have empathy, all right? So, uh, I guess that's another benefit of having empathy, because... I'm trying to figure out how do I teach people to have it, right, without going too shitlib, right, uh, or without becoming a shitlib, I should say. And I think, okay, maybe I should just start telling people the benefits of it. Well, the benefit of it, I think now, is I'll just come out, because I'm trying to make this up as I go along. In fact, I should probably used to write this down in my movie script. Actually, I'm going to do that right now, as I tell you. The, one of the benefits is, let's see, Lyle. one of the benefits of having empathy is that it allows you to bitch and complain justifiably. I'm gonna have to try to change this, but basically you're justified in, um, in, uh, <coughs> uh what should I call it? In, uh, in complaining. That's how I think of it. Uh, it'll make sense later, I'm sure. Uh, yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, man, my throat. All right, uh, Berkshire to accept Occidental shares, and so all right. So Berkshire, so Warren Buffett's already acquiring other companies, so he's obviously taking advantage of everyone losing their life savings because he's a piece of shit. Uh, oh yeah, I don't have it either, but I think I did maybe tweet it. But yeah, Bill Gates posted a thing on Instagram, and everybody in the Instagram comments did nothing but like scream at him because they're really ang they're getting sick and tired of the. Bill Gates and the elites that have led us astray. It's also probably because uh, Bill Gates keeps saying we need to keep shutting down the economy and people are not having it, right? Remember, I did it like a poll a week or two ago about the shutdown. Like, what, 66 to 80% of people basically said reopen America. I don't care how little or how much, just do it. <laughs> so, yeah. 
Uh, Fed Treasury. Okay, so there's nothing here. Uh, JMC coins. Ah, it's working. It's seven to eight. Assuming this is accurate, seven to eight as well for four four coin. And two by two coins, sixty three to sixty six. So it's going up accordingly as majors go down a little bit. So so far so good. Compound coins still pretty stable at sixty one forty five to seventy four hundred satoshis of a dog coin. So it's uh, it's actually pretty good. Now I actually do want to, I actually have decided I want to do some coding after I finish my video instead of playing my video games because if I don't because if I don't do the coding now I won't do it later because I know later I'm gonna watch Final Fantasy VII remake because I, I I really want to see what they did uh, so far I, I love it I can't imagine any I haven't seen anyone actually complain about it supposedly there are complaints about it and it's just it's just weird to me it's like whatever. Um, that's also why, like, even though my game, you know, will be shit at first, of course it's going to be shit. It's just me coding it, right? I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. Well, technically I know now what I'm doing-ish, but I've got a long way to go, right? But, you know, give me a year, give me two years, give me three years, right? Especially after I actually, you know, benefit from the bull run that's going to happen after all this bull coronavirus bullshit's over. And yeah, I'm going to be spending a lot of money. I'm going to be hiring real music composers. Uh, I probably will get some sort of sound effects people too. Uh, apparently, that's uh, you know, or I'll teach myself how to make it. Um, obviously, I'm totally gonna hire graphics artists. Uh, I have to try to figure out how to get animation. Oh, excuse me. I didn't actually burp like I was supposed to yesterday or a couple. Of, well, it's like a few days ago. Even though I wanted to, because it was just when I was breathing or eating at the same time, and then it's like, ah. Oh, had a hiccup for like an hour. It's so annoying. Uh, but yeah, I'll definitely hire graphics artists. I actually do want to add, have my games animated. Right now, they're not animated. They just sound, they just simply turn around. Because if I could animate my shit, it would actually make my game look a lot better. Right? Um, let's see. Let's go to my Twitter profile. Uh, here we go. No, that's not it. Here we go. See, right now, this is your soldier guy who opens fire, and then right now he just turns where your point or your mouse pointer is pointing. That's it, right? And when you walk around, it just simply moves the whole sprite. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, I gotta add all this extra shit. Uh, and I'll, I'll, oh yeah, we're totally gonna replace this ugly, gaudy, dark... I just have it here just so I have some sort of ground so I can just see, okay, is, is my character falling through the world? There's a reason why that actually happens in every game. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, uh, and it's because of um, uh, every single game engine, especially modern day game engine that we use, use gravity. So, because that's what it's like in real life. So you have to turn off gravity. Otherwise, you just fall through the ground. All right. Anyway, so more investors are holding Bitcoin instead of halving data. Data, 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 data. Uh, Okay. Uh, well, I mean, well, actually, it could go. Actually, Bitcoin could go up if we start because uh, I think Trump even said we might even consider reopening America um, uh, before uh, the end of April as well. Okay, uh, IMF. I mean, usually the IMF is actually pretty um, respected in a lot of cases. Yeah, I know it's the IMF. It's a globalist, big, uh, cannot name the country globalist bank but i mean they do actually say a lot of good things too uh you know i mean they have to be masters of money right i mean you have to get something right otherwise you know you're gonna wind up like the world health organization where everyone actually i mean of course the liberals are gonna scream about it, but even i bet a lot of liberals are like yeah you know what? we should defund these assholes they fucked us like coronavirus right it's gonna be hard for a liberal to say Oh, well, I don't know, maybe. I mean, they might believe all the fake news terrorism that they listen to, right? On CNN and MSNBC. But the point is, Trump could cannot just defund the IMF. I don't know how they get their funding, but let's say we fund the IMF, right? He doesn't have the justification for it, but for the WHO, he totally has justification for it, right? So why? Because WHO screwed up, they screwed us over, they didn't do what they were supposed to, and but the uh, but the IMF, you know, they just work with money. So obviously they're doing something right. That's basically what it comes down to. So uh, Libra, blah blah blah. All right, so it's just I just see more garbage. Uh, April fifteenth. Okay, so things. Um, Bitcoin could sort of two minutes massive super cycle here as well. I would be curious because it's the Kraken owner. 
uh, Trump's down to 50 to 45. Uh, yeah, so once Trump reopens the uh, economy, and now that the Democrats are in charge of doing, uh, the Democrats are basically on board with that idea, all right? Um, you know, then that's that, right? Uh, so this should recover, and then and then we can we can watch Trump win in a slant. Like he really is going to win in a slant landslide. Uh, once this is all over, and he's got a couple months to work with the you know everything going back up. Now the thing is, poor Joe Biden, he's just going to get clobbered so bad because of the, uh, see that's why I don't fill out my info, because if, if I filled it out, then it would just fill in all my personal info automatically, right? so, <laughs> in your face Firefox, you know, uh, uh, operational secure OPSEC, that's going to be the name of a uh, skill tree in my thing, by the way, because um, I really wanted in my game to have armor and shielding, so you have three layers in addition to your hit points. But not only is that more complicated, and uh, it's gonna make my game more difficult to code, and, and I was like, oh, I don't want. It's like, uh, right? Most games don't have that. You just have a mana bar or energy bar and a health bar, and that's it. It's just very simple. So maybe, actually, maybe a compromise I could do is you'll have your health bar. It's the only thing that takes damage or replenishes. But you'll have your energy bar, a, a bio cell bar, and you know maybe you'll have resource bars, uh, and they'll do different things. Maybe that's what I could do um uh, so that actually could work uh but i mean if i'm gonna go simple i might as well go all the way simple yeah so that's the nice thing about game uh, about when creating your own shit you can just do whatever you want right <laughs> so all right i'll but i'll figure it out obviously cracking executive oh yeah we already clicked that uh no no uh bits of bitcoin back loans the next phase of decentralized Finance. Well, there's already a lot of that going on. <clears throat> Hedge fund high net worth investors turning to Bitcoin wake of coronavirus says Mike Novogratz. Uh, he has no credibility with me anymore. Like, uh, there's just whatever. I don't want to listen to him anymore. Uh, well, well, I don't see it. But I mean, there's not a lot of money floating around either because again, of the shutdown. So. Vaccine testing begins. Uh, I assume that means someone has died. Uh, oh, yeah, the same thing, some in Australia. All right, whatever. Uh, man checks bank account for coronavirus and fines. Whoa. What did he get? He uh, finds $12 million instead. Well, first we have the U.S. got to stand the checks. We see that plus it probably briefly check paid for thousands of others. A volunteer fire in New all time. Yeah. Uh, wow. Uh, oh, they, they immediately took back the money. <laughs> uh, well, well, that would explain why I haven't got my stimulus check yet. They sent uh someone 12 million dollars that's hilarious they said someone 12 million dollars and they immediately took it i mean they have to take it money back but um yeah you know like you remember in monopoly that that i think it was the yellow card right I will, not, is it community chess yeah it's community chess because the orange red cards are called chance cards right it's like it's the orange it's the yellow card the one that we all want bank error in your favor collect 200 dollars well, this guy had a bank error in his favor, call it $12 million, and then <laughs> Uncle says, like, nah, we kind of needed that money for other people, especially the poor folks, you know, like you. So, uh, we, yoink, <laughs> your bank is back to normal. <laughs> yeah. But he is right, though. He had nowhere else to go but up. I mean, after all, I turned 500 bucks into, you know, a very sizable six figures doing almost nothing with Bitcoin and 808 coins. So, if I can do it, any, any, any idiot, any brain dead idiot can do it, too. Not that I'm brain dead, but might as well be brain dead. We have learned facts are helping to control the virus. We, we cannot hermetically seal society. We know more each day. We'll get it for every decision we make. Okay, so what I like is... <sighs> Jesus Christ. I hate Firefox. I hate the new Twitter. And I can't do anything about it. Because the price I have to pay is uh, putting myself at risk. And that's just not going to happen. So I will sacrifice comfort now for uh, safety of life uh, between now and pretty much forever, unless I make a mistake. Uh, Andrew Cuomo continues to uh, 
prime liberals up to the idea of reopening New York up. Even Democrats, uh, let me see. Even Democrat leaders don't want to challenge Trump on this because, oh, that's right. I forgot to mention this in the video. I'll write it now because the new rich in America are lefties, not, not conservatives. Or, uh, or the new ultra rich in America are lefties, not conservatives. Okay. Uh, am I satisfied with this answer? <clears throat> All right. Very good. Federal government could help states with scaling up testing. This could not be blah, 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 possess, uh, which we'll go every other day. Okay. We lost 778 to this vicious virus. A lot of briefing on NDD, closed captioning. I'll be giving my daily career NDD, blah, blah, Okay, so nothing new here. So we're going to keep this open. But this is good. This is very good. Uh, Drew Cuomo is, um, you know, getting everybody like, okay, we need to reopen. We need to reopen. Because he probably realizes, along with the, all the other governors in the Northeast, right? You know, we're all like, hey, our rabid liberals are starting to go, like, insane. We kind of need to... Uh, <laughs> We kind of need to really dial it back, especially since we're taking way more damage than the conservatives are. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, eh, it's actually not bad. I mean, I like the choice of colors. I just wish the graphic was higher resolution. So I think we'll end today's video on this one, see what it says. <clears throat> oh, God. Hold on. Let's do my bit heroes here. Uh, actually, I'm going to go get some more vitamin C tablets. Probably when I eat food later, I'll uh, feel a little bit better. Ah. <clears throat> Great. Am I gonna be si I'm gonna be sick for like another couple of days again. It's gonna be very annoying. All right. Super cycle. Um, Lark Davis. Let's see. Uh, Bitcoin is weathered the coronavirus very easily without a need for intervention. Yeah, that's true. Uh, we got halving, we got huge macro backdrop where banks are late printing a million dollars a second. Um, okay, Fed Treasury. Oh, yeah, that's right. All this Fed printing. Oh, yeah, the money going burr, right? Burr. Yeah, it's going to inflate the prices of everything. Hey, it works for me. Uh, over the years, uh, crypto has risen, or the industry has gris, uh, grown. True, so I rise in our investors holding increased Bitcoin. I mean, she covered to run like CNBC. Yeah, I don't know why, but CNBC is actually like one of the actual real news networks. Everyone else is just bullshit. But again, the reason why is because I believe, because uh, hey, people put their money in this, right? And there are actual legal regulations that govern pretty heavily the dissemination of uh, financial advice and info. So they probably don't want to go to jail, right? And that's actually what we really need in all of journalism in America. That would actually solve all of our uh, political ideology, uh, ideology problems. The problem is the establishment loves their identity politics because it works. It works really well. So they're not going to give up that power. So obviously we're going to force them to give up that power. Uh, well, we've always printed infinite fiat, but they also forget to mention that we can also draw that back by raising interest rates. And they also have other tools for reducing it too. It's been a while since I read my Alan Greenspan book, but they, we have other ways of reducing money supply as well. Uh, 83, we can see that, we can see something a little clear. I, I call this the Bitcoin super cycle. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what is it? I truly wonder their money's being devalued. See, every sovereign welfare, every central bank. If they truly fear that, Bitcoin's not going to stop at 100 or 300K. It could go up to a million or two more. Yeah, I personally have predicted um, 500,000, but if I could go back in time, oh, I'd actually change this to 1 million. But I predicted this April 4th, 2019. 
That's what, there's a reason why I pin this shit, because when it does reach that, you know, I want everyone to say, hey, all you dumb fucks that didn't like or retweet or even watch or follow my shit, well, I'm rich and you're not, so fuck you. Maybe next time listen to me. Or better yet, go, go listen to your fake news terrorist outlets and scam investor advice, and then just get scammed, you know? So, and that's what I'm going to do. But yeah, I actually think, like, now I'm thinking it's going to be a million, and now that we have this coronavirus thing, now it's going to def, uh, definitely go, I think it's definitely more, much more likely to go to a million, hopefully. Now, it's even possible it might go to two million, but that's going to be a pretty significant gamble. But we'll obviously have to play it by ear as we, as we, you know, look at the fundamentals. But yeah, I guess two million per Bitcoin now is in play because of coronavirus. Uh, Bitcoin's not for everyone. Says so that is extremely risky. Ask it compared to lose lose for for some of that. Yeah, this thing's completely. First of all, I lost thirty five grand and lost most of my value in my stock. So, Bitcoin's actually a safer investment. Yeah. Because there's no mandatory redemption clause for Bitcoin. How do you get to your first LEA? That's happening to me three times. Really fucking hard to hold Bitcoin. It's not hard for me. I've been through the bottom. Like, this is just nothing to me. Volatility is so intense. Again, not for me. Why? Because A, I've already been poor. I lived my whole life in fear. And number two, I have Jesus Christ. So what do I care? <laughs> well, on top of that, I also have proof of stake mining. So I just print my Bitcoins. I get, I get all my shit for free anyway, essentially. And then, why do I care? See, that's the thing too. I'm like surprised. I can give I can give people the power to not worry about any of this shit. And even rich people like whoever this guy is, the Kraken guy, the guy who founded Kraken, is like, yeah, I still get scared. It's like, wow, okay. <laughs> I mean, then again, to be fair, like maybe if I were a multimillionaire, right, got my building, got my hot wife, got my kids, maybe I would. Feel, I mean, yeah, I could probably feel the fear of not having enough money too. Yeah, it'll always be there, all right, because, you know, money is survival. But with that being said, you know, that's why you got to go to Jesus Christ so that he'll, it's like, hey, I kind of really need money. I need a lot of it. You know, I need, I need your help. And you're like, yeah, okay, yeah, you know, do, go do this, all right? So that, that's how it works. Satoshi actually hypothesized that Bitcoin's intense volatility would act as a viral loop. People bring, blah, 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 blah. Satoshi, he stood, understood human psychology. And all my bet really is, will people choose to preserve their wealth, of course, which is almost unanimously yes. Will they be greedy? Yes. And I think they assume humans will act like humans. Yeah, you bet against human psychology, you're just always going to lose all the time. All right. So, I mean, there was a tweet on Mike Stern's timeline with the Wall Street Playboy guys. Yeah, they do exactly that. Hmm. Yeah. Ah, but yeah, they're totally right. And that is why I'm doing pretty well. So all I want is my Trump bucks. And then, uh, well, actually, I really need America to reopen. So it looks like uh, that's going to happen. So uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. And again, Mario Cuomo or Andrew Cuomo is going to, uh, you know, so far continue to, you know, uh, keep it up. So it's going to be good. It's going to be good. If you like what you saw, read or heard. Hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or on my uh, YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure to smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page. So continue growing this channel. And obviously I'm done for the day. I want to go uh, get to coding. Because uh, I really just don't feel like watching Force and play Valorant. So now it's a good time to actually get some stuff done. So anyway... Jurassic day or night, um, again, as I said, markets don't deserve to go up. Uh, we might actually be stuck in this range for a while, 20, 20 I would say worst case scenario, 20, 21,000 to whatever, 24,000 range. Until we reopen America, or obviously if something else happens. But for the most part, everything looks pretty stable and predictable. So, And the uh, coronavirus situation is actually improving. So, yeah, it's just a matter of waiting, right? Today is Wednesday, April 15th, so yeah, I think by next Wednesday we should see some good stuff happen, so yeah. Uh, this will be the thumbnail picture. I don't know what I'm going to title this, but I'll figure it out. See you all tomorrow. Thanks. Johnson Chan, JFC Coin, 404 Coin, and as of right now, 
I already did all my buying. So again, we're just playing the waiting game, right? It's just right now. It's just the waiting game. Survive. Don't go crazy. And uh, <clears throat> just might find something productive to do that you can do at home.